Hi, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet, and I want to show you how to crochet the large braided cable today. Okay, before I begin, I wanted to show you that the sample that I'm going to be crocheting into has a base of 19 double crochets plus the turning chain, which is a chain three at the end of this uh, particular sample. So to begin, I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip the first stitch because it is the end stitch. And then we're going to skip three more stitches. One, two, three. And in the next stitch, which is the fifth stitch from the end, I'm going to work a front post treble crochet. And I'm going to do that in the next two stitches as well. Okay. Now working in front of these last three stitches, I'm going to front post treble crochet in the second, third, and the fourth stitch. We generally don't work in the end stitch for most of my designs. Okay, so we're working in front of those last three stitches and we front post treble again in the second and the third and in the fourth stitches from the, the, the edge. Now we front post treble in the next three stitches. One, two, three. So we've completed the base for the first braided cable, even though it really doesn't look like much at the moment. It will look like something after we complete a few more rows. Okay, now we're going to skip three. Now this is the repeat across the edge or across the row. The information about skipping the first stitch and all, that was just uh, working from the edge of the swatch or from the the row, but in to the pattern, this is the repeat. Skip three stitches, and then we're going to front post treble in the next three stitches. And once again, working in front of those last three stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped, starting with the one, the first stitch skipped. This will be the furthest away. And yes, it does feel like a major reach, but you will get used to that as, as you get familiar with this particular cable. And the last three stitches, we work front post treble crochets. Let's go ahead and wrap that hook two times, not just once because we are making trebles. And now in the turning chain, we're just going to work a double crochet, which is about the same height as the trebles when they're worked as post stitches. So now for row two, we're going to chain three. We're going to skip the end stitch and the next three stitch and the three stitches that we're skipping here are the ones that are actually part of the cable. This end stitch is not. And we're going to back post treble in the next three stitches. These are the three that are leaning in this direction and they are resting on top of the other, other three stitches. Now working in front of these three as seen from the front side. And so we're going to bring the hook on the back side all the way around to this stitch. Now let me, let me, let me do this again, just to show you what it looks like with the back side facing. We come all the way around the back to the stitch right here. And this is going to be the first back post treble. And then the next one, is right beside it. There 
There we go. And the third one. Make sure that you do groups of three with these. After we do that, we have three more right back here. And these are going to be kind of hidden. So you have to use the uh, nerve endings in your thumb and fingers to find these stitches. So we're working three of those back post trebles. Get all the strands. There we go. And we're going to do that one more time. But since we've already passed the edge, we are in the middle of our work. We just skip the next three stitches and then the three that are on top there for on the back side. We work back post trebles in each of these. Now working in front of these last three stitches, but as seen from the front side, we are going to come around and this will be the first stitch we work. We're kind of looking at the front side as we flip the work up here. And let me show you what it looks like on that third stitch coming in. Here's the third stitch right down there. And then the last three stitches are right here. We don't skip anything. Uh, we just go right to those next three stitches for the last um, three stitches of this nine stitch cable. And then a double crochet worked in that turning chain. And let's turn and see what we have. So you can see this has begun. And let me turn this up there. So you can see the three strands there. You can kind of see something starting to form. It kind of looks like a braid. Let's go ahead and do this again. I'm going to repeat row one again because we just repeat row one and row two. Let's go ahead and do that three turning chain. Skip the next, we'll skip the end stitch and the next three stitches and front post treble in the next three stitches. And these are the three that are leaning and that will be crossed on top. Now working in front of these stitches, we go back and work the three stitches here that we skipped. Or this would be the second, third, and fourth stitches technically, but the three stitches from the braided cable. And now we find the next three stitches which are playing hide and seek on us. And again, use your finger and thumb to find these guys. And there are just three of them. Okay. And so we're, it's starting to look like a braid. And let me go ahead and do that again for you. Skip the next three stitches. Front post treble in the next three stitches. Working in front of those last three stitches, we front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And then the last three that are hiding. Don't forget these. These are very important. Well, they're all important, but these are the ones that would be easiest to neglect. So that's one. two, and three, and then let's work a double crochet in the turning chain. And let's take a look at what we have now. So it's starting to look like something that resembles a braid. Well, let's go ahead and work row two again. And it's worked the exact same way, but I will go ahead for the sake of instruction and show that to you one more time. Chain three, and again, we skip this end stitch and the next three stitches, and then we 
back post treble in the next three and these are the three that are going to be on top kind of leaning now working in front of these as seen from the back side I'm sorry as seen from the front side let's go ahead and look at this and we work this one first back post trouble and the second one is right there I'm kind of cheating looking at it from the back side okay or looking at the front side by flipping it up there all right so we've gotten those three down and now the three that are hiding here you can feel them you can just stick your finger in there and that will help to direct your hook to where it needs to go the third one right there let's do this one more time as you're working across skip the next three stitches and the three stitches that are on top work those working in front of those stitches as seen from the front side and this is again we're sneaking ahead and looking at the front side here we back post treble and these three stitches one two and three and now we do the last three stitches which are back here make sure you don't forget those I promise you, if you do forget them, you'll know as soon as you try to begin the next row. So that'll get you to go back and complete those three stitches. Or you just maybe won't be able to recognize what you have. And then a double crochet in that last space. And let's go ahead and take a look at our braids now. Don't these look lovely? Well, I'm going to work rows one and two again and again, and I will work a few more of these so that you get a better idea of what this will look like. Just wanted to give you a view of the stitch after working a couple of more repeats of rows one and two. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please check out some of my designs. I even have some using those. I'll try to put some links in the video description below. God bless. Bye-bye.